All right, guys, we're back. And you know what? It's a release week, which means... Dun, 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 dun. Shaking camera for After Effects. Anyway, handy dandy opening tool. Look at that, look at that. Who needs, who needs fancy knives and things when you can just stab it with a screwdriver? Really, really good. Okay, well, we're opening that box first. This is going to be a double-double box. So we're going to go two boxes here. Get two openings. Make sure everything's all nice and pretty. And uh, for those of you who have been following, we're, we're going to add these packs to the uh, the mystical bag. You can kind of hear it. I can actually put my entire arm into this bag, and it's just totally covered in packs. Um, get that out of the way. So, my thoughts on Rosetta. Uh, I have started my mass rip. I am planning on breaking between 150 and 200 boxes probably for singles. Um, and my thoughts so far is this set's awesome. Um, I have legitimately no complaints about it. It is... Ugh. Speaking of gorgeous, look at these. These are the foil EAs that you can hit. These things are just so sick. So I guess we'll put that right there. And then our tokens can go right there. Over here. There we go. The interesting thing with this set is they did something new and it's called these art cards that you can hit. Uh, let's see, foil. Oh, <laughs> box one Marvel. Oh boy, look at this, ladies and gents. We this is how you start this opening out. God, okay, let me find some sleeves real quick. So I'm gonna need those now. Oh man, I I can't express how much I love this set. This set is just so well done. Holy crap, LSS, you have slayed it again. Also, can I just say how nice the paper packs are? Like, like it's such a nice, nice little thing. Oh, hey, there's one of the art cards, I think. Yeah, there we go. Common foil. Look at that. Like, so there's like these nine piece arts that you can get They're on the back of the tokens. Uh, and you need, there's 36 of them total. And it's for each of the hero arts. And they're actually really neat. They're kind of hard to pull all of them. I had to crack like three cases finally to get like everything. Uh, so yeah, that's a thing. They actually have some monetary value. People are selling them for like 10 to 15 bucks a pop, which is pretty solid. I was not expecting them to be worth a ton. I was gonna try and sell them for like, I don't know, like 10 bucks for a set, but there seems to be genuine demand for them. And I'm like, okay. I think this is interesting. So I will probably take those and get them all sorted, make a whole bunch of, whole bunch, 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 bunch. English is hard. Make a whole bunch of sets out of them and we will uh, rock on on that. Finals Fighting Spirit, solid card too. Foiling them. So recently, I, uh, I learned in my comment section that someone has made it their life goal to own a hundred thousand rainbow foils of flesh and blood. Like, I want you to take a second and think about that. Like, a hundred thousand. That is legitimately an absurd number of cards. Ooh, hello. Like, that's a bananas number of rainbow foils, in fact. Like, if you, like, what, 24? Like, how many thousands of boxes is that? 10,000 almost? 20,000? 30? 40? Because it's what? 1,000 packs would be times 24. Sorry, I'm tired, so math is hard. 25,000 boxes? Does that check out? Or no, 40,000? Uh, whatever. I can't math right now. I'm tired. Someone in the comments go roast me about how dumb I am about math. And what the actual number is, but it's a hundred thousand. Like, that's crazy. 
I think it's ten thousand forty. It's like forty thousand something boxes worth of worth of rainbow foils. My brain like just computed finally, and it's like, oh yeah, this is the number. It should be around like forty thousand. That checks out. Something like that. But that's like that's just like bananas. Like <laughs> I love it. Like I don't even. I, I I genuinely like if you're watching this video, individual who you are, you know who you are. I'm not gonna call you my name, but um. <laughs> I want you to email me a photo of your giant pile of rainbow foils because like I'm like genuinely amused and humored by like how many rainbow foils that is and I know you just have to be going out and like eradicating like TCG player and just like random other like other people that are randomly opening you just gotta go out you just gotta be out there and like just just crushing these fucking cards and to me that's just so funny like, oh my god, I love it. Like, I don't even, I just, I just love that that's a thing. I collect, like, random, like, random bullshit. <laughs> this guy's over here, like, I'm gonna target the entire rainbow foil armada of fat. <laughs> I'm just like, oh my god, you're a legend. Like, I love it. Oh my god, I love it so much. It just, it just makes me happy. Like, I'm just, it just, it's one of those things that's just kind of like, yes. I, I, you, you, sir, keep doing, keep doing the good lord's work. <laughs> like, oh my goodness. But yeah, it's a, it's a pretty good time. So, we have some fun buys coming up. Uh, I had one person waiting for me that was backlogged for Rosetta, but Rosetta's wrapping up now and flying off the shelves. We're obviously crushing through product like crazy. So they are sending me a whole array of fab cases and some random promos. The other buy that is incoming is I have, I wasn't planning on doing this mass opening before the other ones that I was doing, but I have a hundred boxes of Nuka Penna lined up as well. So I will be doing a mass opening on that set and getting it processed. And, ooh, there's a, that's like a $30 $30 card right now, I think. Felling the crown. Man. This set has just so much value in it. It's so nice. Like, I think I think LSS, like, slightly reduced the print run of the Majestics, which is, like, just enough. I think we're in that sweet spot now. And, like, a bunch of these are holding, like, decent value, which was, like, a pleasant surprise. Like, I was, I was really honestly expecting this to kind of be, like, some of the other releases where, like, a ton of stuff just like dipped into like the sub five dollar range outside of like the the three or four really really good cards but there's just a ton of them that are like 10 11 12 15 dollars and it's it's like really refreshing to see that change it's it's nice the cases themselves have been just so great um i hope we hit one i'm obviously going to keep i'm going to get a good good number of Rosetta videos going I think because this is a good set to open it's just fun to watch you know it's it's got good value it opens easy it's nice these paper packs are just so clean I just I love it I love I, I openly admit I love flesh and blood <laughs> it's, it's just such oh my god this, this was like the the little kid that never could and then everyone's like, ah, oh, it's not going to make it. It's It'll die after COVID. And now they're like on set 15 or something and still going strong. And they're just like, oh, what was that about dying after the season? <laughs> like, I, it just, I love underdog stories. Like they were never supposed to succeed. And like, it's just, it's just such a fun, fun story to hear. Like it's, it's a couple of guys that were like X. You know, they, they worked with Wizards, they worked in Yu-Gi-Oh! You know, they they went all over the TCG circuit for, like, decades. And then they sell out their magic and their other stuff to, like, build this. And then it just takes off. And I'm like, I... I love it. I love when people go, like, balls of the walls like that. And not only does it work, but it just takes off like crazy. It's such, a, it's such like, a good story. And you just love... You gotta love when the underdog... Ah, oh, another, another L. Let's go. Ah, oh, God, what a what a half case so far. There's our there's our super juice. Should probably put that in a, in a little thingy. There we go. Little thingy, little doohickey majigger. 
ba boom ba boom. So I don't know, guys. Comment down below. Did you did you miss out on my pre-order for Rosetta? If you did, hit me up. I have more cases coming. I am blowing through them online. Uh, at the time of this recording, I've already sold for my pre-releases. I had one, two, five, almost six cases sell in the past couple of days. Uh, so I'm I'm just saying, like, if that rate keeps up. Like, <laughs> uh, uh, about two or three weeks and I'll be completely out of product, which would be bananas. Like, I would love to have to go order, like, another 40 cases to put on my shelves just to, like, keep it in stock. That would make me so happy. So, like, please, guys, reach out. I will do better than TCG low pricing. Uh, we'll get you hooked up, shipped to your door, tracked, all that jazz. But, man, oh, shameless, shameless channel plug. Oh, yeah, let's, since we're talking about monetization, uh, the don't forget to hit that sub button on there uh if you sub i am working on a limited des, limited design probably i'm going to probably do i'm torn between doing like 25 or 50 of them and it will kind of just be like that first merch drop that we do for the channel but the people that are subbed are going to get a chunk of those for giveaways so i think i'm actually should i do 69 i should do 69 that'd be great just, you know, let's really, really embrace the taco memes and go 69. Let's do 69 shirts. I like it. We could even do, like, fun, random, dumb, like, dumb theme merchandise. I don't know. Comment down below what you guys want to see. <laughs> there's, all, there's all sorts of, endless, there's endless opportunity on this one, I believe. So, but yeah, the, it's just, it's just crazy to me. Like, oh, that's a good card, too. Ooh. Another foil majestic. Bam. Let me double check, make sure I didn't miss one in here. Nope. Okay, cool. About 12 minutes into this video. I definitely rip slower when I'm talking and trying to do this on film. Make sure everything stays like kind of nice and like semi-orderly. So, one thing I have not pulled yet is a Cold Coil Legendary. I am due for that. I need one. I want more. I haven't pulled a single one. I'd also like that Rosetta Thorn Marvel chase, because that thing is apparently, like, crazy hard to pull. Uh, I don't know if I'll open one of my mass opening, but that might be one of those cards where I just have to, like, either A, wait to pick it up in some kind of buy, or... I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I'm always, like, hesitant about spending, like, big money on cards like that just because, like, man, like, I need to be, I need to be, like, super, I need to be, like, hyper-focused on growing inventory and cycling through things, and it's, like, it's not that I couldn't take, like, a thousand dollars and just go yank, yank one real quick, but I need to be smart and, like, calculated if I'm going to do that. So it's just, like, eh, shit, like, I really want one, but, like, I just need to hope that I open one for now until until the timing is right. Once the timing is right, we'll be good. And I'll just I'll yank one either way. It's like a rainbow foil CNC. Like it's one of the few ARC and WTR Alpha rainbow foils that I'm still missing. And it's like every time like someone's like, oh yeah, dude, I just bought a bunch of these. And I'm like, they're like, oh, but we already, I already they're already all slated. I'm like, no. Or like someone comes across my desk and it's like, hey, do you want this right now? I'm like, ah. Oh. I can't, I just spent tons of money and I need to, I need to not, like, uh, it's like the timing just hasn't worked out yet for me to get a hold of one, no matter what I've done. And I'm just like, ah. <laughs> like, I know I'm going to be due eventually. Like, I'm going to get it. It's going to happen. Um, so let's see, first two boxes here. I know that's a few bucks. Uh, Heroes are a few dollars. That's a dollar. I think this is like 18. This is like 30. Uh, sigils. I know that's like five or ten. That's five or ten. Let's see here. That's like fifty. I know this is gonna be like twenty or thirty. This is probably ten. This is about ten. This is about fifty. So I mean, you know, we hit uh, probably like a hundred and ninety to two hundred dollars of the singles out of the first two boxes here. I just want to be clear, like. Fab is plus EV to open almost always. Like, it's so crazy to me that this game has just, like, 
somehow evaded all like the the mass openers from like magic and everything else because it's just like it's it would be so easy for them to come in they don't even need to like do like shenanigans to go buy out markets and like you could just literally go buy off tcg low and just like make money off of, <laughs> off of cases what's the what's like with the what's one of the most inverted ones uh god i think bright lights is actually really bad right now or was i know heavy hitters is still fairly inverted uh if there's like a, honestly if there's like a fab case under 250 bucks that's not an auxiliary set like everfest might be the only exception i think that i just don't know if there's any that are like negative ev at the price points they're at like it's so hard to lose money especially any of the fab 2.0 sets uprising might be negative or positive like net even or slightly negative maybe but i mean like still one set out of like shit like nine like that's crazy like outsiders bumped up dynasty bumped up dust till dawn bumped up like a lot of these sets are just like starting to climb up and move up and no one's like really talking about it or doing anything and i'm just like hello like this is card i don't want to talk about this like cards are just climbing up but whatever what do i know i'm just i'm just a timmy who's buying absurd amounts of product and opening it and feeding my cardboard crack addiction while i'm at it but yeah guys thank you so much for the support i love you guys uh we had a hugely popular video a few days earlier this week we bumped up a bunch of subs we're only 68 subs we'll call it 69 for the giggities away from our big thousand subscriber giveaway when that happens i will be meeting up with saint uh doing a bunch of giveaways anyone that's subscribed to the channel uh will be able to enter it the people that are subbed to the channel so that they did the join button or whatever and they're actually like part of the monetary subscribers you'll get extra entries and stuff when i do that uh, i'm only going to limit people to one win if they win multiple things, I'll probably allow them to choose like whatever whatever the two things they got, and then we'll have a backup for both of them, and we'll kind of just uh, we'll kind of just go from there. But yeah, that's gonna be super exciting. I'll get meet up with Saint when we do that. We're gonna give away some some of the nines and stuff that we have, some of the legends probably, some of the other random shenanigans I have around the house. I don't know. I might I might throw like some. Oh, I might throw that. I don't know. I have I have so much crap everywhere. Oh, probably shouldn't throw those in there. Those are all like thousands of dollars. <laughs> I'll throw this whole stack of. I'm just kidding. I don't even know. Like, could you imagine if I threw this whole stack of majestics in? Like, what a what a prize that would be. Like, look at this. This is these are all sorted too, by the way. Like, color sorted. I think these are like nine, ten dollars a piece. <laughs> like, could you imagine winning that? <laughs> like. <laughs> Someone would be very, very happy. It's like, here's just a whole pile of fucking Majestics. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I'm not going to do that. That would be bananas. But thank you guys so much for the support. Like, subscribe, share. We'll see you guys soon. And we have uh, lots of fun stuff planned in the future. Bye, guys.